All right, we're almost there. So we're about to start implementing the send newsletter endpoint uh, to actually contact our subscribers. But before we do that, we need to make sure that that endpoint is protected. You don't want random people to trigger a newsletter email. Uh, and the way that, that we're going to do that is by using a feature of Express called middleware. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a secret token that we store in our backend and incoming requests must have um, a header that contains that secret value. If that secret value is not there or it doesn't, the value doesn't equal what we have in the back end, then we'll reject the incoming request. So what I, what I want to do is have a placeholder request for now and I'm going to call it send newsletter. Uh, and I'm going to send a uh, send status of 501 which represents um, not implemented. What I also want to do is I want to go into my runtime config and I want to have one new um, value called auth, uh, auth secret. Okay. And auth secret is, is going to be, um, it should be a secret value. So I've actually gone ahead and um, did I say secret value? I meant to say a strong value, something that's crypto cryptographically difficult to to guess. So I've gone ahead and generated a UUID with Python. Um, pretty simple to do. You call your Python interpreter, you import the UUID package, and you call the UUID4 method, and you get a UUID from that. Uh, otherwise, you can Google U UUID generator or have some other value that is cryptographically strong. So with that in mind, I'm going to exit my Python REPL um, and go back into uh, Vim here, and I'm going to paste this value. All right, so I have my secret token here stored, and what I'm going to do is I am going into uh, I'm going to create a new file actually, and I'm going to call it middleware. Let's see here. Uh, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a function called. Uh, Create authorization middleware, which takes a secret value and it's going to return a uh, middleware function. So for those who don't know, a um, express middleware is a function that gets run before your actual request handler and it takes the same arguments as a regular request handler uh, from express. Okay, so this is going to be a request, response, and in here, I'm going to get the header that's coming in from the request. Okay, so I'm going to expect that uh, every incoming request that uses this middleware has an authorization header. And then I'm going to do if the auth header <clears throat> if the auth header equals our secret, then um, I'm going to return next. Else, I'm going to return 401 for not authorized. And that's our middleware. So if I go back to index. Um, and in fact, let me just close my file. So there we go. It's a function that takes uh, a secret and then returns a new function. Okay. Um, and in here, I'm going to import it. And the only um, the only handler that I want to uh, use this middleware is the send newsletter endpoint. So here uh, we're going to have to invoke this. This has to be invoked with our secret value. Before we can do that, we need to go to our env file and validate th that it does exist. So I'm going to do uh, 
this. All right. So I added a new line that's checking for the auth secret value. So I can close this, go back here, and I can import Okay, so let's try it out. I'm gonna to go to Postman, and I keep opening Postgres. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so let me save these, close them, and I'm gonna duplicate the unsubscribe request. I'm gonna rename it to send newsletter. And I'm not, I'm intentionally going to omit um, the authorization headers, just to make sure that I'm getting a correct 401 HTTP response. There we go, unauthorized. However, if I were to add a header here of authorization, and I were to pass in my token, so if I go back to runtime config, and I paste this value, um, or, yeah, there we go. If I copy this and send this over, I should get a different status code. So that means that my function uh, checked to see that the header was correct and it called the next function in the uh, stack for lack of a better term. Okay, um, is there anything else I'm missing here? So the other thing or last thing in this video, this very quick video is um, we want to deploy this value. So I'm gonna do Firebase, config functions config set newsletter auth secret and I can add something else so here I'm going to generate an entirely different token for production uh, I'm going to call my Python interpreter again I'm going to import UUID and I'm going to call UUID uh, dot UUID 4 here I'll have a different value entirely and this is what I'll use for my production environment. And in the next video, we'll actually implement um, the newsletter sign, uh, the sending of the newsletter. And I'm going to deploy, and I'll see you in the next video.